I want you to help me understand something. How, how in the world does someone who comes off the bench, who's considered a very, who's considered a bad player, comes off the bench, and or according to Footmob, plays better than the one who was deemed, who was deemed, um, the one who started, who started the game, as Lindelof. Lindelof played terribly compared to Maguire. And also, both of our centre-backs were removed for some reason. And Hoyland, Holland, Hoyland, whatever, whatever, that, whatever that Danish guy's name is, I don't understand him. Martial as well. I mean, he played all right. At least we're using a number nine to play number nine not forcing Rashford to play there. He scored first. Um, Ericsson assisted. Uh, that was the only good part of the match, to be honest. Like, after the 28th minute, we just we just gave up. I don't know why we would do this. Whenever we're playing a team that's big, or considered big, we just decide to fold whenever they score first. I mean, remember 6-3 last season? Man, man, especially when we score, like, when we concede early. And to be honest, um, Onana and David De Gea are the same. Onana is good with touches on the ball, passing, and all the other stuff. The point where he can actually play midfield. I, I bet he can play midfield far better than Casemiro because I don't, I don't trust him anymore. Um... But it's terrible at close one-on-one -on -one shot stopping, you know? That's his weakness. But then with De Gea, it's the complete opposite. De Gea is very good at one-on-one -on -one stops, shots, shot stopper, far the best. That's why he won um, the Golden Glove with 17 clean sheets last season. Uh, but when it comes to just passing the ball or having the ball in his feet, he's terrible. That is how, that's why I see them as the same anymore. I don't get the hype. That's the problem. Whenever a player joins Manchester United, they just decide to become average. You know, Anthony was good at Ajax, decides to become average when he's at Manchester United. Sancho was a winger who had 17, the season before transferring, had 17 goals and 17 assists in the Bundesliga. Decides to be average, hasn't reached 10 goals. It's now his third season. Um, Casemiro never got a red card in his career. <laughs> he proceeds to get a red card, at, two red cards at Manchester United, and becomes completely average to the point where people are comparing Thomas Partey and Rodri above him. Uh, Ericsson, I mean, I, I didn't expect anything from him after the heart attack because, I mean, how can you play good after a heart attack? So that's kind of crazy. And yeah, man, uh, Sophie and Amrabat, he might just come and become average. I mean, the mistake was selling Fred. I don't understand it. Why Fred? Of course, Fred doesn't score. He's not that good. But he's, he was what Manchester United needed. A stable midfielder that doesn't get injured. Casemiro gets injured. Eriksen gets injured too much. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Fred should have just stayed, man. No, no reason to sell Fred. Mason Greenwood as well has gone to... Oh, what was the point, right? If you weren't going to terminate his contract, why didn't you just integrate him into the squad? I mean, it's still as bad as letting him go on loan to Getafe and accepting him when he comes back next year. So why didn't you just integrate him into the squad if you didn't care about people talking about it? That's crazy. That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? Manchester United is just crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. I fail to understand this club, Sato.
this is going to be my life until August of next year. I already have enough pressures. And then this this club should give me pressure. Voila. <laughs> Voila. Voila. Voila.